Hello and welcome to the second installment of the video tutorial for MTI Commerce's Back Office Live for eBay. In this portion we will cover the CRM or the Customer Relationship Management tool. And this is a very powerful tool for keeping track of who is buying what items, how often, and when. To begin with, we'll just click on Customers. And this takes you to a screen containing your customer's basic information, as well as shows you their year-to-date purchases. And you can use the search bar at the top if you'd like to look up a specific customer. Now, if you ever need to add a customer, you just click the Add New Customer link here on the bottom, and then enter their information. Go ahead and click the blue submit button and then back. Now that we're back on the customer screen, if for whatever reason you need to delete a customer out of your database, you just click the red X next to their name and then confirm the delete and it will remove them from the database. Now if you need to edit a customer's information or see, that, see their information in more detail, you just click the little magnifying glass icon next to their name. And this screen, you're actually able to edit information or add notes. So if a customer has a different shipping address, it changes, or they have a better email address or phone number to reach them at, you can change it in this screen just by clicking on the edit button and then submitting it. Now, if we go ahead and click on customer report, here we're able to run a general report for all customers. You can filter it by customer number or purchase date. And there are several options you can use to sort the report by down here at the bottom. But we'll just go ahead and click the blue submit button and open. Let me enlarge that for you. Now here we have all of our customers' contact information. And this is available in a PDF format. So you can print it out or save it to your computer and if you aren't aware eBay actually removes access to the email addresses for your customers I think it's seven days after a transactions completed and then 30 days after transactions completed you don't have access to anything but their eBay ID so using this application you'll actually be able to keep track of all of that information even though eBay removes your access to it we can also run purchase history reports in two different ways. For purchase history by customer, you can pull up a report for customers purchasing between a specific time period, a report on just a specific customer, or a report that shows you which customers purchased a specific item. Now these reports also have the option to be sorted several different ways using this drop down box. For this demonstration, I'll actually pull up customers purchasing between a certain time period. And just go ahead and click Submit, and then open the file. And now we've got this report, and it's actually sorted by date. But you can see each customer's information, their contact information, as well as the item they purchased, how many of them, the total dollar amount and what day they purchased it and the total amount they've spent with you so far. Now if we close this and go back into the application. Now we can run a purchase history report for all customers and with this report you can generate so that you can see customers purchasing within a certain time period between certain dollar amounts or purchasing a specific item. For this report, I'll just pull up any customer that spent between $1 and $100. Just click the submit button and then open the file. And now we can see we've actually got just the customer's name, the number of purchases they've made with me, and the total dollar amount that they've spent. So if we close this, and go into email marketing. Now that we're in email marketing, this sort of feature is often overlooked by sellers, 
but all successful businesses use some sort of marketing. It increases your sales by bringing customers back repeatedly, and you are able to let them know of new items or promotions, holiday specials, whatever you're running. Essentially, it just brings more money into your pocket. Now, to begin with, we start you off with two starter email templates, a 10% off promotional template and a template for customers from West Virginia. To create new templates or to edit existing templates, you just click the Manage Email Templates link, and this will show you the templates that you have created. If you'd like to create a new one, you just click the Add New Email Template link, and then fill in any information you would like. Give it a name. And then fill out the information. And the bottom portion actually functions exactly like a word processor. So you can edit it to look however you would like. And once it looks however, once it's designed to look how you'd like, you just go ahead and click the submit button and that will actually create it. Now, if you need to delete a template or edit an existing template, to delete a template, you just click the red X next to one and just confirm by clicking yes. Now, to edit a template, you just click the magnifying glass next to it and that'll show you what it looks like and you just go ahead and click the blue edit button and make whatever adjustments you would like to it and then click submit and this actually will create your templates for you now if we go back to email marketing now that we have our template selected we're able to filter customers three different ways for top producing customers, you can select customers between a specific date if you'd like, or just pull any customer that's had a purchase over a specific dollar amount. So you just enter that in and click the Show Customers button, and that'll create a list that shows you which customers qualify for whatever criteria you set. And then it's just as simple as clicking the Send Campaign button. Now it works for the same for customers who purchased a specific brand. You can specify a department that they purchased from or a specific item. And again, you just click show customers and it'll pull up those customers that qualify. And then you would click the send campaign button. And this is really handy for running promotions on items that have accessories. For example, if you sell cell phones you can pull up any customer who has purchased a cell phone from you and then send them a 10 percent off promotion to get them to return to you to actually purchase the accessories for that cell phone so that'll increase your business that way that way now customers within a certain demographic you're actually able to tailor the campaign to select customers that live in just a certain area so to select multiple states, you just actually hold the control key while you click. And then just click show customers. And again, it'll pull up anyone that fits your cr criteria. And you just click the send campaign button. All right, now that covers the CRM and email marketing segment of our video tutorial. Next up is our final portion of the tutorial. It covers the data warehouse, synchronizing with eBay, and just the my account and ask MTI questions. So we'll see you there.